I'm going to talk to you today about what happens during a liver transplant operation. When the liver is completely damaged, for example in cirrhosis, or when the liver suddenly fails in acute liver failure, the only solution is a liver transplant, which involves removing the liver in its entirety and replacing it either with part of a new liver, which comes from a living donor, or from a donor uh, who donates after death, which is called a deceased donor. The liver has many blood vessels that are flowing into it and flowing out of it, such as the hepatic artery, the portal vein, the hepatic veins, and the bile duct. So the process of a liver transplant essentially is removing the old liver by dividing these blood vessels and replacing the old liver by joining all these so that blood can circulate through the liver fully. So we have to join the hepatic artery, the portal vein, uh, the bile ducts as well as the hepatic veins so that blood can flow in and out of the liver. The operation takes 10 to 12 hours after which uh, the patient will normally shift to ICU to recover fully.